Traditional recipes, while delicious, have ingredients that are high in fat or salt. Certain oils, spices, and rich liquids like coconut milk, for example, or diets that are strongly starch-based. Coupled with more sedentary lifestyles in Canada, stress in a new country, and genetic and cultural predisposition, South Asian, West Indian, Caribbean, Chinese, and Hispanic populations in Canada are particularly at risk for type 2 diabetes which affects 90% of those with the disease. Between 2008 and 2010, so far the Con r and team has reformulated and is in the process of demonstrating 45 ethnic recipes to clients in local community health centers, where they also receive diabetes education that complements the recipe R&D. The new, healthier recipes are based primarily on South Asian and West Indian traditional dishes. I'm in the Culinary Management Nutrition Program here at George Brown and um, we had started doing some of the recipe development there and I thought that it was really interesting. It was a great way to apply some of the uh, things that we had learned in the classes around nutrition and applying that to cooking and I wanted to get as much hands-on as I could get. I think again the field work and the on-site training was really giving you some hands-on experience as a student in doing recipe development um, and then again working very closely with those people who were going to be getting the results of what your research was. Um, and in this case it's, it's very hands-on, it's, it's people who are struggling with diabetes so you get an opportunity to develop a recipe and then get in there and see what people's feedback is to that you know, hear what they think about it and whether they would actually use it. And to me, that, that's invaluable. It's a real connection to why you're doing what you're doing. 